Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Um, I ho how are you doing? I know um, you were, well, last week you were in the ER for COVID. I hope you're doing well. Oh, gosh, yeah. I've had taken the booster shots mm -hmm. and um, I had some crazy test results. And then I had inflammation on the muscles around my heart, one of the side effects. Mm -hmm. It was crazy, but at least I won't die of COVID. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. So tell me what I could do for you. Um, uh, truthfully, when I received the message, I kind of like skimmed through it because I was uh, pretty busy at the time. I didn't realize it was scheduled it between um, the 26th and the 30th. Yeah. Uh, but I was, uh, I was curious. Um, during, so as far as the demo, what uh, what am I supposed to um, present to you? I will I, uh, send you send out today a um, PowerPoint template slide, mm -hmm. so you can fill in the blanks for it. Mm -hmm. So you'll present that presentation and then show your your code and your project. That's it. Okay. 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 Yeah. No big deal. Okay. Um, as for my project, I did get stuck on the uh, deleting the um, uh, the uh, the art the article part um, having that part of the code done. So I got stuck on that. I wasn't able to make headway for a while. So I just started doing CSS. That way, I could get something done throughout the week. Okay. Um, and as far as that, I know you sent me, you recently sent me uh, the tutorial for, for that. Mm -hmm. To be honest, um, I haven't, um, I have uh, I, I looked through, I, I did, I looked through some of the, um, the steps, uh, but I haven't gotten to this video. Um, I'm very sorry. Um, well, that's okay. Last week, yeah, last week has just been um, kind of crazy. My um, roommates are uh, engaged, and their wedding is actually this weekend. Oh wow! And I'm the best man, so there's just been a lot happening. So oh, I understand, and, honey. <laughs> and, and and with and with work too. So between, I actually had a really important um, report to turn in yesterday so between those two things um it's just been crazy and i've just been trying to do whatever coding um i can throughout the day so i'm feeling a little bit behind um but um i'm just my plan for this week is just to get as much done and then after the wedding, which is Saturday, I'm gonna have so much more free time on my hands. Oh, sure. And you might wanna look through the actual tutorial that I sent that's in GitHub. Okay. That this just walks through here on your screen. But um, if you look at the code of how we did the, how I did the delete and how I linked it in, that'll probably help you. Okay. Cause I have the full crud in the, actual GitHub tutorial, I have the walkthrough and then there's a link at the very top blue link. If you click on that, that's all of my code too. So you can look at the code and see exactly what code I used. Mm -hmm. um, Why well, have you, can I ask you a question as far sure. as CSS code? Mm -hmm. You absolutely can. Okay. Um, the this part is going to change, but as far as here, I'm tr I'm trying to use the toggle. Wait, let me get out. Let me run in. The uh, toggle feature. Um, I'm trying to get it to where, when I collapse this page, uh, this turns into. Uh, what should I say? Like that small menu bar, the uh -huh. drop down menu bar. But um, I was. 
I, I wasn't able to quite get it there. There's your toggle button right there, okay. I mean. Okay, app media, toggle button. Do you have that class set up in your actual code? Uh, yeah, there it is, okay. I just want to make sure. And where it says the um, HRE app equals and you have the number sign, mm -hmm. where are you gonna send that when they click on that? Uh, that should be uh, the same as this, um, this, uh, the sign up at the login. Okay, because that's just a placeholder, that number sign thing. Mm -hmm. So something needs to be oh, put in there. Right there. Yeah, on that one. That's what you created there is a link or a button. The class is toggle button, but what is the link that it's going to? You've probably created it. Um, I, I was going through uh, a follow-along video and it sure. would explain that part later. I just wasn't able to get past that. Oh, I, that's fine. That's fine. I just had that just jumped out at me because I do that. I put placeholders all the time. And then I forget to populate some of them back and I'm like, oh, shoot. That's part of it. Okay. That's probably what's causing the toggle button not to work just yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever that, that walkthrough was going to tell you to put right there. Hmm. Should I just uh, remove the href? No, just leave it there because I'm sure there's something that goes there because of the, it's a link. So the toggle button, bar, span class. Okay, brand title. Let me think about that. Mm -hmm. but, uh, there's something that goes there and then down under the nav bar links on line 91 you have the placeholder again so i'll have to look at that and make sure um i could send you the video that i was uh, yeah would you do that because um, i can see i can look and see wh where they're going with that and what what the final plan for that is so don't take that out yet because i'm sure there's something we need to put there but I have time later on tonight because I'm home all by myself right now until tomorrow night. So I'll, yeah, I'll look at that for you and see what I can figure out because I, I know something goes there. It's looking good though. I was looking at your code. Thank you. Would there be anything that uh, when you say looking at my code, um, mm -hmm. I mean like the the full thing? Yeah, or? I'm looking at the how you have the layout over here in the explorer, the file, the folder structure that mm -hmm. looks really good. That's set up really well. Oh and yeah. Um, in, in your terminal down here, I'm not seeing anything that's jumping out at me either. So I think I think this login and the CSS you're talking about will be taken care of when I find out what that HREF is. Oh, that reminds me. Um, actually, because these should work. So I don't think I need these anymore. Okay. Because I already have these rigged up. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I'll okay. work on those later. So actually want to do with these. Um, so those were 
all that is just to like make sure like the uh, the displaying all the articles is actually working sure. um, what I then want to do is um, uh, what is that what is that um that uh that kind of mock text that coders use the that like Latin the series of Latin uh, yeah the lorem ipsum yes yes I was, I was never able to pronounce it quite well um but I want to, what I want to do is I want to replace all of these with those. And then since it's going to take up, wait, since it's gonna take up um, such a large space, what I want to right. do is um, box each one of them and then have, um, so they're gonna collapse. Okay. That way you're able to uh, read some of the title and then uh, well, you're gonna you're gonna be able to read the title in each box and then some of the text. And if you want to read more, you click the button to drop the rest of the box. That makes sense. So that's what I want to do for. Um, I how how I could use help as far as to like how I would make that drop feature because I haven't seen anything similar, um, at, at least from what I could find um, in the previous lessons. Okay, I'll look for that for you. Please and thank you. And I'm sending you a link right now in your Slack where you can get all the lower MIPSUM. So that'll work too. Okay. Yeah, so I'll look up those. I'll look up the, the delete for you. What goes in those two placeholders and the um the Dropbox. So I'll look up that and get back with you on that. And sorry, it's taking me a while to um, send you that link. Um, oh, no, no, that's fine. I think I found it though. Okay, I did. I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you yeah. now. Perfect. That way, that'll be very helpful. And then I'll, I'll just send you the information and you're caught up. You're doing just fine. You do whatever you need to to get through the weekend and don't stress yourself out. And then um, we'll have these minor fixes ready for you, then all you'll really have to do is do your presentation. Well, um, and, and regarding that, um, what are some key things to keep in mind uh, regarding the um, presentation you feel? The presentation, really, the whole thing is where you got your idea, pretty much, um, what it's designed to do, and then show the, the CRUD, the create, um, read, update, and delete, that you have those features in them. And um, then you go into, if you had more time, what else would you add? Because that's mm -hmm. what um, employers like to see. Because after we record this, I'm gonna send it back to you so you have it for your portfolio. Mm -hmm. So it, it, you'll, you'll see when I send you the template too, what you would add to it if you um, had more time. And what was your biggest obstacle? What did you learn about yourself? Those types of things. Mm -hmm. And what would you do differently? Just, you know, it's explaining your whole process because you worked on this by yourself. So, you know, everything that you encountered was just you. So um, on one hand, that's really good because you didn't have to deal with other people maybe or maybe not, you know, contributing like, like you've seen. But so really it's just, where you got the idea, how it works, what um, you would add to it if you had more time, and basically what you learned throughout the process. And that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then um, we'll need to make sure, and during that presentation, I'll help you. We'll make sure that the final project you have here is all set up perfectly in GitHub for you so that you can add that link to your resume and everything. Mm -hmm. All right, then, thank you. 
Um, I think that's um, I think that's all I want to talk about at this time. Um, and I'll keep you uh, posted as far as like, uh, because I have, uh, what is it? I have, how much of this week do I have? Yeah, it's Tuesday right now, right? Yeah. Because I have some of, uh, I have this week and some of next week to, uh, uh, before the demo, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, as long as we can demo it before um, next Friday night because I get on an airplane to go overseas. <laughs> so, yeah. And it's only only 20 to 30 minutes, so it's not it, it won't take long. So, yeah, you um you take as much time as you need just making sure we have enough time to get your demo in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you for And I'll reach out on Slack and put what I find out about these issues for you too. And then just let, put some more messages out there if there's anything else you need from me. And um, I'll do the legwork for you so you can be your best man this week. Of course. Thank you. I appreciate it. No, thank you. You've been a, a real joy to work with. I wish everybody was like you. <laughs> I appreciate you saying that. I, I mean, I. Um, I just, I just want to do a good job, you know. Oh, I know, I can tell that, and um, I have a couple companies that are interested in talking to my best students, so I will give you that information when we're done too. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Absolutely. Um, um, you'll be only the second one I've done since I've been at Learning Source that I've referred out. But um, anybody that works as hard as you and tries so hard to be diligent and learn, that's that's exactly what all of us in the industry are looking for. So there's rewards for excellence. I wanted you to know that. Mm -hmm. And I've been fortunate for um, the uh, the team that, or, well, including yourself, of course, but, you know, um, my mentor and, like, the other instructors, um, I was very fortunate, like, with how responsive and um, how, uh, helpful that you guys are because um even if because I've had like instructors where like even if they weren't help, able to help me like um while like on a zoom with them or like at, or like that same night like they'll reach out to me later like hey like, like I think I figured it out like come like come back on to zoom with me and like, we'll, I'll go over with you oh absolutely there's a good team here that's one of the main reasons I joined the learning source because it seems like everybody really cares about the students and that's what matters to me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I appreciate you saying that and they will too because they work really, really hard. Oh yeah, I know they do. I like they especially Linda she, especially her she'll she'll uh do she'll work some late nights. Oh absolutely. Yeah I'm I see her out there all the time. I mean I have what eight I have eight mentors. And um, I couldn't do anything without them because, you know, there's so many students in the entire program mm -hmm. and it frees me up to focus on the, the final group project, which takes, you know, a lot of time. And I, I, I couldn't do it without them. I appreciate you saying how helpful everybody was because that's what I've seen too. Um, I should be uh, getting back into work and I understand that um, you must have like other students speaking back to as well. So um, I'll let you go, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. You too, darling, and if you need anything, you reach out, and you, you'll enjoy the um, wedding and all the festivities this week. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm excited for it, but I'm also relieved that, like, it's coming to a close, because it's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, I mean, it's just special for me. I can, only been, I can only imagine, like, how stressful it's been for them, so... You'll send me a picture of you in the wedding. I will. I will. I'd like to see that. All right, darling, reach out if you need anything and just breathe because you're doing fine. Thank you very much. All right, much. babe. Bye-bye.